After swearing off hybrids to go all electric, General Motors announced earlier this year that it was going to bring hybrids back into its model mix. And while the new plugins it's planning are a couple years away, it still has one hybrid. The 2024 Chevrolet Corvette E-Ray is the first hybrid Corvette and the first all-wheel drive Corvette. It borrows the mid-mounted 495 horsepower 6.2 liter V8 from the Corvette Stingray to drive the rear wheels through an eight-speed automatic transmission and has a 160 horsepower electric motor driving the front wheels. And the two aren't mechanically connected. They use computer code to stay in sync. So you could say bye, bye, bye to every other Corvette on the road. It accelerates to 60 miles an hour in 2.5 seconds and covers a quarter mile in 10.5 seconds, making it not just the quickest Corvette ever, but the quickest car General Motors has ever made. The E-Ray borrows its wide body design from the track focused Corvette Z06, but is tuned more as a grand tour. Pricing starts at $106,595 for an E-Ray coupe, but for $113,000, 595 you can also get it as a hardtop convertible which puts on a nice show and even though it has that electric motor up front it still has a frunk and the corvette signature huge trunk at least by sports car standards now turning this into a hybrid wasn't some hack job the eighth generation corvette was designed with this in mind from the start it features a central tunnel here where the battery pack is stored which you can see in this animation that pops up when you get in the vehicle. It's a 1.9 kilowatt pack that you can't plug in and charge. And while the battery and electric motor are mainly there to deliver all wheel drive and performance, this 655 horsepower car has an EPA rating of 19 miles per gallon combined, which is the same as the Corvette Stingray, which has 495 horsepower. And the 670 horsepower Z06 only gets 15 miles per gallon combined. <laughs> oh my! I've driven plenty of fast cars, but once you get under three seconds to 60, things get crazy. You just feel the soft tissue on your body pulling your skeleton backwards. That just shows you what the extra traction can do. This weighs a couple hundred pounds more than a Corvette Z06, but it is a tenth of a second quicker to 60 and over the quarter mile. The ride quality in this thing is magical. The handling's fantastic, but it has computer controlled dampers that can soften things up. And on a crunchy road like this one, I'm astonished at how comfortable this is. The rear tires on this are 25 series, basically rubber bands. And this rides better than some luxury cars I've brought here. This is very much a daily driver and with the all wheel drive very much and all season Corvette. It even has a weather drive mode for rain and snow. They didn't make this car too quiet, and that's very much a good thing, but the exhaust volume is adjustable, and if you want to turn things all the way up, you can even open the rear window when the roof is closed. Oh. The infotainment system has this nice, easy-to-reach compact touch screen instead of one of those jumbotrons a lot of cars have today and as Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone integration plus Google built in and a couple of screens that show you exactly how much power is coming from the engine and the electric motor in any given second. And one thing that's interesting is that when you let up on the accelerator or hit the brakes, the electric output goes negative. That's because the motor switch into generator mode to help charge the battery. And it just keeps doing that over and over again. Charge up under brake and use it under acceleration. Charge up under brake and use it under acceleration. And there's a button down here that increases the brake regeneration to help you recharge the battery quicker. The front electric motor is not just for power. It can shuffle power back and forth to help the stability control and improve the handling. But something interesting happens when you go beyond 150 miles an hour. The electric motor doesn't work to drive the vehicle anymore beyond that speed. It turns into a rear wheel drive car with a top speed of 183 miles per hour. But at much lower speeds, something even more interesting can happen. Before you hit the ignition, you can use the drive selector to shift this into an all electric shuttle mode that works up to 15 miles per hour as long as there's some charge in the battery pack. Really just meant for driving around parking lots 
and in garages and only with front wheel drive. But there's also a stealth mode that you can choose, which allows you to go 45 miles per hour in all electric drive for a couple of miles at least. Again, if there's some charge in the pack. The thing about this one is unlike shuttle, which stays locked in all electric mode, if you want to get a little extra power or torque, the V8 will kick in. And if you're not very light on the throttle, the V8 is very eager to kick in. Kind of whips in a little electric motor noise. Corvette of the future, today.